everybody it's Oki and we are on episode 8 and somehow I have to figure out something to do with a pump while uh, not falling into this stuff toys about sounds as if the machinery is in full sway I had gone through a collapse there I need to try to avoid that if I can ah I can't get through that I can't get through that. So now what? Help if we turn the lights on. I bet we can't jump that kind of distance. I bet we can't. Yeah, it's irrelevant because we're steaming away, right? So, it's actually been a little while since I was on here, so uh, <laughs> I may not know where I'm going. Did I follow the blood into here? What does this do? Where does this go? Is this the way I came? I, I, honestly, I don't remember. So, we're gonna find out. If I need to go back or not. Oh, that hurt. Well... Oh, what have I done? Holding an object, you can right click to throw the object. Okay. Well, did that work out just as well? Guess I wasn't supposed to come down here. At least not yet. Oh, good. We're rattling. Rattling is wonderful. So I wasn't supposed to go down here. And we'll find out where I was supposed to go voluntarily. This is the way I've come, see? This is what happens when you walk away, you forget things. I don't know. Okay, there's the collapse again. So... What am I supposed to be doing? That is the question. So loud. So, so loud. I think I may have seen something there that I didn't see because I ran by it and was looking at it. I'm confused. Okay, so that's not the way. Is this the way? How do I know that's the right position? Stop. Charl sure wheels are in place for correct operation of pumps. Okay, so we've sort of done this, but the last one was intact. This one not so much, so we need this wheel. Don't worry. Put this down. Heh <laughs> look how easily that happened. Alright. And then we'll turn this. is in full swing, which has certainly activated something, which probably affects our path. Let's find out, shall we? Um, change something down here. Didn't change anything in here. Doesn't appear to have. There is this ladder. How do I know I didn't come up this ladder? I probably did. Good lord. I should probably have reviewed my position before. Parking on this. All oh, the machinery is loud. So, so loud. Good lord, that's spooky. Just machinery. Oh 
Oh, another one of these, I see. Turn, turn, turn. Mouse is buggy. There we go. Pull this down. Get the juice. Turn this one. I'll turn this back off. Okay. We've continued to make some kind of progress, haven't we? Okay. Core systems access. Oh boy. The children dancing. The stairs are steep. The sun beating on his neck as he pulls them up. Veins pop on his forearms, but he cannot deviate. He's a man driven by love. Only love. Well, alright. Great, what now? Well, I guess we resolved that last room, didn't we? Somehow. Core systems, really? This is core systems? The construction is just very core system -y. Oh, we've got a note. The heart of the machine, and when they first said daddy, my heart was molten, as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to fall and slop, and they were inseparable always together, one soul and two bodies, and my love was all consuming. I would die for you, I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels, great engines, the foulest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood, and I am come for you all. My darling boys. Right. Okay, let's, let's continue. James? I think things are getting spookier down here, I must say. Stop. No authorized persons to enter this facility by the order of management. Am I not the management? Aren't I somewhat in charge? Sideways or down? Down. Down it is. set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and we set you and I on recrafting them, and then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. For your children, Mandus, to spare them the world you have created for us all. Hmm. Ominous. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh, this place is huge. God. Dear Christ, what is this place? Oh, I don't... That looks... Control-y. Red... Rod control room. Rod control room. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition? Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. 
Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to put in some kind of code to get things moving in there, it looks like. Let's take a look. It's dark down here, isn't it? Lovely darkness. Don't we love the dark? We love the dark. Darker but better, I see. Danger, compound X, highly flammable, highly corrosive, highly toxic. Oh. Should we be pistoning all of them? Is that what we should be doing? We have to figure out the combination that appears. That's, that's how it appears to me. So, top left, middle, right, and the bottom left too. Watch me forget that. Oh, too much ducking. Not here, not at this place. Oh, I'm a bit clumsy with this with these switches, I have to say. So challenging, these switches. Huh? Good lord. Okay, so what does it mean when all the pistons are down? Oh, well, we don't know, do we? Let's investigate this this way. We don't know what we've done there. We have no idea what we've done there. Oh, it's dark out here. There's more of that compact. Everything is compound X, is that it? Well, what do I do about it? To hell with it. Daddy, Daddy! I'm not sure what I do about it. Let's just investigate further. Now, Mandus. Set them free. Set them all free. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm not sure what it means, but that's what I'm working on. Okay, so we've just run a circle here. Red lights going all the way down here. Not sure what that means, but we went up this way. Lots of lights here. Came into this room. Oh! I rise, I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come, more pig, more pig. Boys, boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry.
Mandus. Saboteur. Returning from Mexico, I was struck again by London's filth, the squalor, the miasma, the rot. We should cut free the dead flesh, allow this one to heal it. Wow. I have no idea what we've accomplished there. Let's stand up and have a look, shall we? And, emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. December 1899, can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this tiny cog wheels and clockwork and intricate machines that serve the function that upon reflection we might set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by what that which he now finds abhorrent, set to his sabotage in his body and his machine until those children of the soul turn a new notion? He may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart. As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this, is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creatures and creations than to continue to live as a monster. And pig heads. Okay, let's go. Find another, another page here, another entry. Pressure regulation. Betrayed. So it is done. The saboteur was me and the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember all I can grasp. It's the moment when the world split into two pieces and the ignorance of humanity fell from an arm was torn gave and my open, bifurcated heart. Okay. <coughs> I certainly didn't mean to do that. Jeez. Let's try that again, shall we? Warning. Steam vent access only at low pressure. Oh. Where are they? Where are my children? Why do you ask, Landis? You know the answer well enough. Okay. August 31st, 1899. Children of the the most wonderful, useful creatures and unfortunates from the North Range have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtered process may indeed vaporize its source. Drifts like dust through the air and watches the pipes constantly foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixels, pixies into the pipes to scrub the roof and constitute a fat away. Armed with just a short number of our little explorers venture out into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, or they risk being trapped in coiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free to the corner of us. The, super, the survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them that I'm so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Good lord. Automatic pressure regulator shut off. Well, uh, that doesn't appear to have function yet, so... Let's pull some fuses, shall we? That's what I'm thinking. Do you 
think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! Yeah. Want them kids. Let's go. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus. But it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! I can't use my torch. I can barely see. My lantern, I mean. Can't use my lantern. Oh, that's frustrating. Light night, light night. Pig man, another man. we go any further, we're going to have to stop it here. Damn. Alright. I'll see you next time.